Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog football. And with us is defensive coordinator Ryan Hodges. And Ryan, first of all, welcome to the show. And uh, congratulations on unbeaten regular season for the Bulldogs, 11-0. Thanks, Rob. It's awesome. I know uh, this past weekend, a uh, final regular season game uh, on the road at the Pro Football Hall of Fame Stadium against Walsh University. And you go into that game uh, with the GLIAC outright championship on the line, uh, undefeated regular season, certainly a lot uh, for the Bulldogs to play for. Absolutely. We had a lot to play for. You know, the number one seed, uh, being undefeated, you know, first time being 11-0 and in school history through the regular season, and uh, outright GLIAC championship and first round bye. So a lot to play for on Saturday. You did receive that first round bye, uh, the number one seed in Super Region 4 as the Bulldogs make the playoffs uh, for the first time since 1996 and certainly a, a great accomplishment here for this football team. Absolutely. It's great for not only for us and for our program, for, but for all the alumni. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm in a unique position where I am alumni and a part of the playing st or the coaching staff here. And so a lot of my old friends, you know, are very proud. You can see it all over Facebook and everything. It's, everybody's posting about it. So it, it's great to, to give back to that Bulldog community. Well, as we go to the highlights of Saturday's game uh, against Walsh University at Fawcett Stadium, Canton, Ohio. And uh, certainly uh, they made you earn uh, that undefeated regular season, uh, a close game that went to the, went to the final minute. And uh, certainly Walsh uh, had nothing to lose in this game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we've been saying it all week. Uh, it's never easy to win a football game. So as we go to some of these highlights, you know, it's a great job by Shaq climbing to the next level and getting a good block. Um, you know, our offense came out early. We took the early lead. And then, uh, as you can see here, Walsh kind of threw every trick play you can imagine at us, and uh, we kind of struggled with that. And uh, Atu's in great position, just has to make a play on the ball. Uh, we struggle to get lined up here a little bit, and they, they seem us there to score the touchdown with that big number five. We see a big kickoff return coming here from Dante Ingraham that'll get the ball to the two yard line before he's marked down. A huge return here at this, this point of the game. Yeah, it was, it was really big. Get that, that big return from Dante and uh, show, shows his explosiveness. And we had a couple key blocks there. You know, unfortunately we were only able to come away with three points. So we kind of struggled early on, on defense. We struggled early to, to put the ball in the end zone, which we're usually really good at. One of those games where it seemed like uh, nothing going the Bulldogs' way uh, until the fourth quarter. Yeah, I kind of called it a Murphy's Law game, you know, what could go wrong went wrong. You know, Atu makes a great play on the ball here, uh, and he does a really good job of finding a way to return this. I thought he was going to score, and then all of a sudden 21 trips him up there at the last minute. One of these drives uh, here in the first half where Bulldogs had it uh, inside the 10 three times, but you, you come away with only three points, and uh, hard, to, hard to not pick up more points than that. Yeah, it gets, a, it gets a little frustrating, you know, when that happens. But uh, as a team, it's, it's good for us to go through these and, and uh, show that we are resilient and, and we can fight until the bitter end. It's never over until uh, that final clock goes. Here we see a near sack uh, by James Wimberly. But uh, again, the receiver open in the back of the end zone. And uh, one of those plays where uh, the Bulldogs are right there in position to make the play. And uh, Walsh comes up with a good, good play. Yeah, it's just like any play on defense, you know, 11 guys got to execute and sometimes it just takes one guy not executing his job and, and we give up a touchdown. So we got to clean up a few things on our side of the ball. 28-17 at halftime as we're in the second half highlights here and uh, what was the emphasis maybe at halftime of and trying to come back and, and pull out the win? Well, we, we figured out that we probably should play a, a little bit more of a, an aggressive style on defense where we kind of man up more guys and, and get some more linebackers in the box. And it seemed to work for us. We, we limited them to two touchdowns in the second half, uh, which, you know, I don't like to say that that's good, but uh, compared to what we did in the first half, it was better. And it gave our offense a chance to go out and try to win the game. So right here we uh, stop them at the one, and we, we stop them on three straight plays before they score on fourth down here. So we, we were close to making a stop and only giving up one touchdown in the second half. Bulldogs making a big play here. Uh, Antonio Eggers with the catch. Uh, we saw Jason Vanderlin uh, make some, some big throws. One to Juwan Pollock uh, late in the game uh, that certainly uh, helped keep the momentum on the Bulldogs side. Absolutely. That one to Pollock was that was our season. I mean, it's fourth and three, and uh, it looked like it was going to be pretty grim. But Jason put it on him pretty good, and Pollock made a nice catch. So, you know, our offense is, has been amazing all year. It's good to have those guys on our side. And here's a two-point conversion. Great execution by Dante, makes a guy miss, Jason's covered, boom, he finds Kenny in the back of the end zone, and that was huge. You know, it, when it came down to it at the end of the game, when we scored to go ahead, we're up by four. You know, if we're up by less than that, less than that they can go for a field goal. So we knew defensively towards the end there, we just had to keep them out of the end zone. So it was great after that, you know, getting that two-point conversion, getting ahead by four really helped us defensively to just kind of sit back and, hey, keep everything in front of us, we'll win the game. And at the end, it, it wasn't pretty, but, you know, 
We're 11 and 0, and a win's a win. We saw that. Know. We saw that last run from Jason Vanderlin on the final minute. But uh, before we got to that point, uh, the defense had to come up with a big stop uh, to get the ball back for the offense. Absolutely, and it looked like we had gotten the stop early in the series. Uh, we got we tipped the ball. AJ McEwen tipped the ball. Dark Angel looked like he he picked it off, and uh, looked like we we're going to have the ball in like probably around the 30 yard line. But they called it incomplete, and uh, you know we just got to roll with the punches when those types of things happen, and not get too frustrated and keep playing. So we we kept playing and. We got him to a fourth down, and uh, fortunately, it was an incomplete pass and gave the, off, the offense the ball back, and uh, they converted. So we've been able to rely on those guys when we're doing bad. They can rely on us when they're doing bad. And in this game, it looked like both of us were doing bad at times, so we kind of just fed off of each other. We kept supporting each other, and in the end, you know, it worked out. Bulldogs uh, finished 11 and 0. What does that accomplishment mean? What will that mean uh, to some of these guys uh, when they look back uh, many years later? I've already got texts from some of our current players just uh, saying, you know, hey, I really appreciate being able to be a part of history. So we tell them you're you're a part of history now. There's no other team that's done this. You know, even even when uh, when I played and we won it in '99, it was a co-championship. Other teams have been undefeated but never with 11 wins in the regular season. So it's a, it's a great accomplishment. And when they look back, they're going to be like, I, hey, I was a part of that team. So, and, and hopefully they're able to say a lot more, you know, when we get into this next season and uh, start attacking the playoffs. You mentioned uh, the second season uh, starts now. Uh, the Bulldogs get that first round by. Uh, you'll be at home November 29th uh, against either Ohio Dominican or Colorado Mines. And obviously, uh, you know a little bit about Ohio Dominican having played them. Uh, what about Colorado Mines and, and what do you see in that matchup? Uh, what I've seen just on paper, they're, uh, they're a good passing team. The quarterback has almost 4,000 yards passing. Uh, they do have a 1,000 yard rusher. They have... Uh, four receivers or four guys who have caught uh, 50 passes or more. Their running back has 50 catches. Uh, they've got a receiver who's got 900 yards, one that has 800 yards. And their quarterback's thrown, I think, is like 38 touchdowns. So they have some ability to throw the football, and they've also got kind of a dual threat guy out of the backfield where he can run the ball or catch passes. So they've got a pretty dynamic offense. Uh, they have one loss on the season, and that's to Pueblo, who's the two seed in our region. So it's... Uh, Either matchup, ODU or Mines, is going to be a good matchup. And, and it, when you get to this point, everybody's good. The Bulldogs uh, obviously have the bye week. Uh, what do you do in terms of this bye week, in terms of preparation uh, to get ready for that matchup, not knowing uh, who you're going to play uh, here for a few days? You know, we, we try to focus on ourselves, focus on getting better at the little things that we need to improve upon. That way we can, uh, you know, kind of kind of get better in our own ways. And then we also uh, focus on, you know, trying to get our guys healthy, and you know, have a couple practices to focus on just the little things. And as a coach, you know, you try to prepare a little bit for both. The good thing about you know ODU, we've already faced them. They've only played three games since then, so you got to take a hard look at the last three games that they played. And then mine's in a in an unfamiliar opponent. You know, we get a, get the film on Thursday. We'll get a chance to look at some of their stuff, see what they're all about. And then, you know, on Saturday, eliminate one of them and really focus hard on the other one. Well, congratulations again, GLIAC champions, undefeated regular season, and, and best of luck here out of the Bulldogs in the playoffs. Thanks. I appreciate it, man, and uh, go Bulldogs. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.